Hey guys, what's up, Grimmishin Sam back with another video, and today we have another roster update guide for 2K22. Um, I'm going to address some stuff at the very beginning here. This is a PS4 exclusive roster. I don't know how many times I have to say this, um, and I'm not trying to be rude, I'm really not, but it's crazy the amount of people that ask what it's for. This is a PS4 exclusive roster. If you cannot tell, the button down in the left-hand corner that says select is a PlayStation, ex PlayStation roster button. That's number one. Number two. I can't put this on PC. I'm just not going to make it, and I don't feel like buying the game again. I don't know what everybody's asking about a cracked version. The best I could find on Reddit was apparently like there's a PC mod going around or something. Something like that. I don't know. Okay, 2K22 is PS4. 2K23 is PS5. Anything future going past 2K22 is a PS4 roster. 2K22's servers will be going down at the end of December. So you have about 45 days. Then by the time this video gets up, because I am having Wi-Fi issues, it's probably going to be about 43 days. So 43 days to download the roster if you want it. After, if it is 2024, you do not have access to this roster. Okay? That's first and foremost. So let's get into things. So like I said, this is a PS4 roster. I just want to show you guys some of the stuff I've been doing with the roster currently. The, they did recently release a 2K24 roster update. So I did go ahead and get overalls done. As well as a couple players moved. So first things you want to do is head over to the features tab. Head over to create roster. This one right here. The one that's highlighted. Push create. MBA. User created. And push triangle. Okay. So push triangle right here. Should bring up search by online ID or content name. Online ID is the way you want to go. I don't know how many people I've asked. Hey are you searching by online ID? Or are you searching by content name? And they said content name. And I'm like there's your problem. I've literally said online ID. I don't think I've ever said to search by content name. Okay. Green Machine Sam. It should be popping up underneath this as well in larger font to help you guys for anybody that can't see as well. Okay. All these rosters up here, these first, what is it? Six rosters up here, not these ones that say local, but these ones right here, these first six rosters, these are all the same roster. It will not matter. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Down to NBA 2K23 offseason are all the same. You can download whichever one you want. It will not make a difference. It really won't. Download the most downloaded. Download the least downloaded. It will not matter. These are 2K24's ratings. Somebody accused me of putting my own personal bias in this. These are 2K24's ratings. I have nothing to do with this roster besides the fact of upgrading people's overalls changing people's age, moving players to different teams, and getting contracts fixed. That is all I do, okay? And then just, you know, a couple other things that we'll go over here in a few seconds. So, here's the 76ers. They look pretty good, all things considered. Here are the Bucks. The Bucks were missing a couple people. They were missing AJ Green, and I think it's Chris Livingston. So, they're both here now. They're both on the roster. And what you might see is you might go, hey, that player looks familiar. Who is that player? Whose player model are you using? AJ Green is Mac McClunk. He looks the most similar in terms of hairstyle and just everything. So I gave him a different name, changed all his info, and he is basically Mac McClunk now. Uh, Chris Livingston is Justice Winslow, if you cannot tell. I do this for a lot of the rookies that I create in and rookies that I have to create later, I go through, I find somebody that looks very similar, that has a similar facial construction, because then it just adds a little bit more, I don't know, it it adds a little bit more of a story, right? Uh, the Celtics, the Bulls, and the Cavs didn't really have anybody. The Clippers did get Xavier Moon, Jordan Miller, and uh, yeah, him, and then Primo got moved up to a regular contract. Of course, they do have the James Harden trade here. The Grizzlies, they are missing two players in terms of injuries right now. John Morant suspended for 8 to 10 weeks. I figure that's about how long he'll be out with the 25-game suspension. Steven Adams out for the year with a knee injury. So there's that as well. The Hawks, as you guys can tell as well, the rookies did get renamed. So far, so good. They are holding up as intended. Uh, if there are any problems when you guys download them, you guys will just have to fix the names at that point. I don't know what to do at that point if the names do keep changing. Ish Smith with the Hornets now. I didn't know if he was on two-way or if Maladine got put back on a two-way. So I just put Ish Smith since that is probably the person. If you do take over the Charlotte Hornets that you'll probably get rid of in your My League. If I were to run it anyway. Bryce sends the balls here as well. 
Taylor Hendricks. Uh, like I said, rookies got renamed. Players that I was missing, I created for the most part. If they're like, if they weren't very notable guys, guys on one year deals, guys that are barely even making, you know, the 18th, 19th man that's technically listed on the roster due to injuries or something like that, I didn't create. So we do have Maxwell Lewis here, who was Patrick McCall. Uh, ages should be generally correct. Not 100% Jet Howard, Caleb Houston. It just depends on if I remember to upgrade, update them. Uh, Max Prosper here, as well as a big one was Derek Lively. He's upgraded as well. Cam Johnson, I mean, Cam Thomas is the one that I was normally trying to refer to. John Johnson's now on the net. You have Hunter Tyson, you have Jalen Pickett, as well as the other rookie, Julian Strauder. So yeah, like I said, rookies being made, they are looking pretty good in my opinion. Now, of course, everything's not going to be 100% accurate. That's not something I'm able to do. Somebody asked if I was going to be upgrading uh, player face scans. I can't do that. It's PlayStation, guys. I, if there is a way, you guys could link. if you guys link me a video, I can look into it. But I would assume there's no way of me really creating... Uh, player face models for rookies or second year guys or something like that that would exactly match what they have in 2k 2k24 like i said if there's a way around it if there's some way in peace on a pc version where i can like download some face scans and then somehow put them into my ps4 or my ps5 at that point i'd be more than willing to try something out but i'm not going to be just you know I, I can't do a whole ton of other stuff outside of that and then, like, like I said, I was just mainly upgrading, updating players. Okay, he decided to go back. That's weird. Why did you, or did I not rename him? So, Amen Thompson didn't have his name correct. I'll have to re-upload the rosters then. But everything should be correct from here on out, hopefully. Uh, so, there's Amen. And then, a lot of the stuff, like I said, is holding up. It's not 100% correct. I think Devontae Graham's back from suspension i'll have to look into that afterwards as well uh yeah there i i think the roster is really good if you're still playing playing 2k22 and you don't plan on upgrading to 2k24 which i think you should at this point right the game's gonna go offline in a month and a half and i won't be able to help you out anymore after that like i'm gonna get my last roster update out probably a week before the raw the servers go down so that people have time to find the video but then after that i'm legitimately not gonna be able to help you guys with the roster it would be on your own so I would suggest downloading it and getting it ready just in case. The Timberwolves were the Timberwolves were missing Deshaun Nix and Leonard Miller. They got both those guys now. And here's the thing. Some people are going to be like, well, the ratings aren't correct for some of the rookies. The ratings are based off of their player comparison. So if it was like, hey, this dude plays like this, you know, that's who I then took that player's ratings and I just decreased them. Okay. It's going to make the most sense for me. I'm not going to sit here and be like, Oh, this dude has an exactly an 84 an 83 an 82, you know, at these different ratings. It, it's more of a generalized thing. I know that kind of sucks in some regards, but it is still a very good roster. It's still very playable. And especially if you're playing it until at least either black Friday or Christmas or somewhere around that, that time, you know, whether you're going to buy 2K24 when Black Friday comes around like me, hopefully hopefully it goes 50% off for even like the $100 version. That would be really cool. Uh, then I could at least play a little bit of my team or my career if I felt like it. But if not, then, you know, if you're getting 2K24 for Christmas, then at least you can still play this until the new game. Uh, you, you get the new game anyway. Here's the Warriors as well. I'll just show a lot of the teams as well i don't want to show i don't want to miss out on showing certain teams you know like i said it's a good roster it's not perfect it's really not going to be you know with things up with 2k updating the game from year to year stuff's not going to be 100 percent correct and that's something you're going to have to live with but the t but the game is still going to be playable if you prefer 2k22's gameplay you can still play it it's still going to have a good roster you're still going to be able to hop into my league now, granted, some of the rookies and younger guys aren't going to be valued in certain certain ways that you would think they would be in a game like 2K24, but still a good working roster. If you guys enjoyed this content or the content here on my channel, I'd appreciate it if you guys stick around and subscribe. I'm going to have more videos like this. I'm sorry that videos haven't been getting posted as frequently as I was hoping. 
like I said, I'm having upload problems. I'm barely getting like 10 megabits uploading right now. I don't know why. I wasn't having problems two weeks ago, a week ago. So I'm going to have to try to reset my Wi-Fi call, you know, who, the pers- the people that I get my internet through. I'm going to have to try a whole ton of stuff. Hopefully I can get that fixed because I do have three Titans videos trying to get uploaded. And I'm not uploading them all at once before anybody asks. I'm not doing that. I'm not that stupid. But I am trying to get one of them currently uploaded. And it's been four hours and it's 70% the way done. So, and my PC does not like how long it's been staying on recently, especially with recording as well as trying to upload videos. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about the roster, let me know down below. I'll be more than willing to address them. Again, this is a PS4 roster, but then again, if you've made it this far in the video, you probably know that. You're probably not one of the dumb ones that makes it 10 seconds in the video and goes, is this a PC roster? Can I download this onto my Nintendo Twitch? Is this available for the crack footing of the 2K? So, if you guys have made it this far, you guys probably know that it's a PS4 roster. No, I'm not getting an Xbox just to make a roster. No, I'm not buying the game twice just to make a roster on PC for the 30 people out there that want it. That's just not what I'm going to do. If somebody wants to buy me the game and send me the game, then yeah, sure, maybe I'd consider making the roster for the for PC as well. But as of right now, I'm not planning on doing that. Like I said, this is the last PS4 roster. This is the last PS4 exclusive roster for me from 2K. Well, on 2K, everything from here on out will be on the next-gen settings of the games. So, if you guys enjoyed this content, please stick around and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos like this. But with that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.